Hello, thanks for joining me for another video beer review. We're heading to Derbyshire again and the Pentridge Brewing Company. And this is their King of Gloom Imperial IPA, 8.5% ABV, brewed with, as you can see, exclusively with Nelson Salvin hops. So, I know there's a few people, I ah, don't like Nelson, Peter. Um, but yeah, this was very kindly given to me by a good friend, Rocky. Appreciate it. Uh, just before Christmas there. Um, getting through these last few cans now. But yeah, uh, so another one from Pentrix. I've had a fair few from them now. Um, pretty decent brewery, I'd say. Um, I know some people are like, oh, it's all about taste and what it does for you. But yeah, um, all of them pretty much I've reviewed have been IPAs or pale ales. Um, and I might be getting some more... <coughs> this weekend coming so we'll have to wait and see what we get so this was canned on the 5th of October best before the 5th of April of 2021 uh, pentrixbrewing.co.uk Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook etc um, so it's got water, barley wheat, oats, hops and yeast the usual one, suitable for vegans so we're all good there Four 40 40ml can, let's crack into it then king of gloom on that you've just got to put the news on but but yeah anyway I digress a beer in a glass single hop Imperial IPA I like that people saying Imperial IPA so it's pouring out uh, yeah like a almost like mango mango sort of juice slightly darker orange not much of a head on that poor uh, half finger if you like pure white head some bigger bubbles around the top let's give it a swirl and a sniff then I'm getting like um, yeah it's very kind of almost like a, a white white grape vinous quality to it gooseberry big gooseberry notes Goose, uh, gooseberry kind of gooseberry pie that that kind of thing S slightly sweet maybe a bit of papaya lychee but it has got a slight bitter Edge. It's definitely getting that virus, that white grape kind of aroma, white wine esque. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Oh, it's very smooth. I can't remember what it says on the um, on the can now. Barley, wheat, oats. Yeah, slightly sweet. Get, get definitely getting that barley edge. A little bit cereally. Cool. Sharp. There's a sharpness towards the back end of the beer. Getting a little bit of alcohol, just a little bit on the back end. It's like a yeah residual on the palate. You're not getting it when you're drinking the beer. It's just that, just that after effect. Hmm. Different. It's very. I mean, I love it. I think it's great. It's just a different twang to it. I like that. It's different from what they saying this is on Untapped style wise. Just says IPA Imperial Double. So, I mean, it's got the look, of course, of a New England. But obviously, with that with that hop varietal, it's not going to be. It's got to be from New England, or at least a fair few from New England. Definitely very grape like. I'm not a lover of um, white wine. Giving me a bit of a headache. Um, or more of a red wine. 
red wine or stronger reds and ports. That's that's my jam. But my grape. But but yeah, do you know what I mean? That's my jam. Really tightly packed bubbles, just slowly streaming up the side of the glass. See that? Pretty cool. Very refined beer almost. It's definitely not a beer that I don't think would get you in trouble. I think you would know that this is a higher ABV beer. I was just talking about that in another review actually. Um, but it's welcome. There is a little bit of bitterness there on the back end. Does it say what the IBUs are on this? I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. So, but overall, King of Gloom, uh, an Imperial India Pale Ale, uh, Pentridge in Derbyshire, here in England and the UK. So, pull the rest of this in. There we go. Oh, me. Excuse me. A bit of carbonation in that. Whether it's the hops, um, it's, de it's definitely not. It's not green. It's not like ultra fresh or nothing. But oh, it's definitely uh, more of a repetitive thing going on there rather than than I'd say carbonation. Although the carbonation's there, definitely coming across more of a a high alpha acid say content. I'd say towards the back end that's mixing in with that, you know, that's probably from the hops and it's and it's 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 banging into that ABV a little bit. But yeah, overall, very nice beer. Uh you know you're drinking a higher ABV beer. Ain't got nothing problem with that. At least I know. Um first first kind of beer or second beer now of the evening as well. So I reckon if I was a few beers deep, I might not get quite so much alcohol as I am now. Being I've had a few sips of one beer now, a few sips of this. So, but yeah, a few beers deep, I'd be like, nah, there's no alcohol at all. It happens sometimes. But overall, another absolute belter, King of Gloom, from the Pentridge Brewing Company out of Derbyshire. Check out the playlist down below. They've got the social media outlets, as I've already mentioned. Uh, all of them will be down below as well. Thanks again to my good friend Rocky for that amazing amount of beers you brought round in December. Really appreciate it. And uh, if he ever watches this, um, of course. But um, but yeah, I thought I'd give this a review as well. I've got one more beer from them that's still in the fridge that I'll probably have over the weekend. And I, I think I've got one or two more beers coming, picking up a beer mail tomorrow from my one of my local pubs that have, uh, they're trying to, I think they're getting prepared for uh, getting new stuff when hopefully the pub's open again but um, we'll see anyway i'm waffling on now so anyway thanks for watching you all keep safe out there and i'll see you on the next video cheers